Hello and welcome to today's Nest Create session. Today's video is about the artist Henry Matisse. Henry Matisse. This is a collage by Henry Matisse. Now, a collage or collage, depending on how you pronounce it, is when you combine a group of pictures together into one picture. It can be as simple as doing something on your phone where you go onto an app and put pictures together, or an artistic creation such as this. Henry Matisse created a variety of media during his long life. He lived from 1869 to 1954. He is best known for his paintings and his, pap and his paper cut out of colleges. So he would do colleges by cutting out paper in certain ways. As a child and a young man, he had no interest in art. After high school, he studied law. At the age of 21, he had to stay in the hospital for a long time. During his hospital stay, he became very interested in painting and art. Here is a drawing of Henry Matisse. Now here is a little bit about Matisse and his paintings. This is the Red Studio, one of the well-known paintings by Matisse. Matisse was a hard-working artist. He was passionate about his art. He learned drawing and painting at art school. École de Biort. He chose painting as his profession. So, as we've mentioned before, he wasn't originally interested in art until disaster hit and he had to stay in hospital, and the boredom got him interested in art. Which means it's never too late to pick up a talent. This is an early painting by Matisse, Studio Under the Eaves, 1903, oil on canvas, and it is in the Fitzwilliam Museum, Cambridge, Mass. So oil on canvas, oil is obviously a certain type of paint, and canvas is the type of board people paint on. And this was painted in 1903, so about 117 years ago. Matisse painted hundreds and hundreds of paintings in his lifetime. This is the interior at Collioure from 1905. And it is also an oil on canvas, and it is a private collection in Switzerland. It must be a very expensive painting. Matisse painted his friends. As time went on, his paintings became more abstract. He was more interested in designing with colors and shapes than making the picture look real. As you can see in this picture, this is André Durain, 1905, also oil and canvas, in the Tate Gallery, London, England. So this is here in the UK. Matisse painted what he saw around him every single day, so he also painted nature. This is the bank, also oil and canvas, in the Kronste Museum, Basel. Like all great artists, Matisse explored from different times in history, other cultures, and the art of his fellow artists. He was very influenced by the patterns he saw in African tribal art. Below are some examples in African textiles. So on the left is the detail, detail of Raffia Aprique from Kuba Kingdom in Zeri. And on the right is the bogle and mud dyed cloth of Mali. This is the Harmony in Red, 1908, also oil on canvas, Hermitage Leningrad. There are many patterns in Matisse's work, as you can see. Matisse also extends the lines of the edge of a canvas, um, and you can see the bold use of shape and pattern. This is the Lorraine Chair, 1919, oil on canvas, which is also a private collection, which probably means it's owned by private people and these must be very expensive paintings. 
I can identify bright and bold patterns in this Matisse painting. The beautiful patterns in African art influenced Matisse. This is the Egyptian curtain from 1948, which is very late in his life. It's an oil on canvas and it's in the Phillips collection in Washington. When Matisse was older, he worked, out, uh, worked on his paper cutout collages. Matisse liked arranging shapes to make beautiful compositions. A composition is like a collection of putting things together, basically. So like a project. He used simple bright colors, so as you can see he would cut up different sizes and put them in a picture. This was called a collage. This is another collage by Henry Matisse. He didn't care about the things that lo like about making things look too real. He just made it his own form of art. And here's another collage. And another. Some of his designs have been used to make glass windows. So this is the interior of the Chapel of Rosary in Venice, 1950. The Tree of Life stained glass. So it's in Venice in Italy. Now these are only a small sample of what Matisse was all about. Um, unfortunately we don't have any prepared questions but we have a little quiz. So the three questions are when and did, was Matisse born and when did he die? Question two is what was Matisse famous for? And question three is, can you name some of Matisse's artworks? Thank you for watching and please come back next week for another video.